That's right. They have brain cells in the heart and the stomach. Um, and you remember the heart math that I was telling you about? If you get in this place of compassion, the brain rewires itself. It's just the coolest thing. So it's really, really powerful. Well, we we got to keep going. Um, lights, Mr. Phil, and let's do a guided meditation. And can I ask, did this side see the volunteer sign-up sheets, the general ones? Can you find that for me, Valerie? Mm -hmm. It's still running around past here, back here? Okay, that's just taking a little long. Well, there's a lot of sheets there. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Let's take a deep breath in. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. And allow yourself to center into the core of your being. As you're centered into the core of your being, this is in your heart space, in your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. And from your inner wisdom, open to divine source. Allow yourself to feel as if you are sitting in a beam of light. Perhaps that light is yellow or green, bless you, or blue, or pink, or red, or copper colored, or silver colored, or any combination thereof. Allow yourself just to be in this column of light. And this column of light is very nurturing to you. This column of light allows you to receive energy that is right for you right now. There may be um, big challenges in your world right now. And this energy will help reset your emanations. So allow yourself to receive this energy and know that it's rebalancing you and resetting your emanations so the very things that are important for you to receive are now going to be more easily received. And as you're experiencing this column of light, know that you can experience this at any time. It's there for you at any time. Feel this, this column of light filter through every part of your body. Let it touch your mind. Let it touch your eyes, your throat, your heart, solar plexus, your belly, down into your feet. And you are also a part of this energy field. Let it feed your body. Let it feed the energy that surrounds you. And as you're basking in this beautiful light, allow yourself to take a little walk on a pathway in the mountains in the forest. Perhaps it's a summer day for you. It's your imagination. You can create whatever you want. Perhaps this is a memory of some place you've actually been. Perhaps you're just being drawn someplace where you've never been before. Just be with that process. Be with that experience. And as you're walking along this trail, you see in the distance a big tree, bigger than all the rest. Beautiful tree. Magnificent tree. Seems to have beautiful form from what you can see. And allow yourself to get closer. Noticing the trees near you, the bark on the trees near you, the crunch of leaves or pine needles under your feet. Or maybe just the that's the path, whatever you're experiencing, really experience this. And as you get closer to this tree, it's huge, like a giant redwood or something. It's huge. You could drive a car through it. It's huge. And as you're looking at this tree, you see that there is an opening large enough 
for you to step into. And you see that the sun is shining from the inside of this tree. Don't know how that's possible until you realize that this tree is just illuminated with a divine light. And it feels wonderful and safe to step into this tree. And as you step into this tree, you see that this is safe comfortable, pleasant place to be. And just as some people will carve on a tree, person, this person loves that person and put the names in a heart, someone has carved a message here for you. In that heart is your name and a plus and either a symbol or a word that represents spirit or divine source or God for you. You are loved. Greater than anything else in this world, you are loved. Because you chose in this physical form, you're loved. No other reason. You chose to receive the breath of life, and you did. And that makes you worthy. And it feels wonderful to be held in this brilliant light, surrounded by that love. And you can take this loving energy with you wherever you go. But you would like to take a token, something to remember this experience by. So let's do that. Step out from inside the tree and walk around the perimeter of this huge tree, this huge sacred space. And at the roots of this tree, you'll find an object, a symbolic object that is here for you, was placed here just for you. Maybe it's a word or a thought or a feeling. And maybe you don't understand the symbolism of whatever symbolic object might be here but receive it with deep, loving gratitude. And you would like to leave a token of your appreciation here. So whether it's a word or a thought or a feeling, maybe you want to hug the tree, or maybe you'd like to leave some symbolic object as an expression of your gratitude and your willingness to dedicate yourself to joy peace, love, hope, harmony, awareness. Allow yourself to leave that gift now. And with that gift given and a gift received, allow yourself to find your way back to the pathway. Allow yourself to follow that pathway And allow it to lead you back into this room, back into this time and space, back into the here and now. You might want to take a deep breath in and exhale. Stretch a little bit, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Welcome back. Mr. Phil, if you join me up front, please, sir. Communion is a symbolic um, celebration, ceremony, that allows us to physically partake of this divine connection we've experienced today. There's unleavened bread, if you like the tradition of that, animal crackers, if you would like to honor Native American pathway. And in this cup is gluten-free, so whatever works for you works for us. So if you would join us in prayer, please. Loving spirit of light, we have bad days. That's part of being human. Help us to take those in with a new awareness. Bring us peace on those bad days. Bring us strength on those bad days. Bring us gratitude on those bad days. 
and walk with us in all things and bring us into better days. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. As that goes around, would you join me in prayer again, please? Loving Spirit of Light, as we drink this in, help us to drink in life, all of it. Help us to drink it in with an attitude of gratitude. Refine that gratitude for us. Help us to be even better at that. Bless us in all that we do. Walk with us. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nancy, <coughs> where'd she go? She's probably in the back. She wanted to say something. Any other volunteers? Oh, everybody's looking. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. William, you want to do this? Oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> you manifested that, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, treasurer's job is never done. <laughs> so especially if you've been sick for two weeks and a lot of mail backed up and so forth. First of all, I just want to say that we did get our donation from uh, Amazon Smile, and it was about $27. So for 0.05%, I think w that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for those that are purchasing from Amazon Smile, because we do get a kickback, I guess you could say, from that. So that's good. And then we also got our first um, United Way payment from United Way, and that was $317. So. Thank you for those that gave to United Way for 2018. I also wanted to let you know that we're making some new envelopes that uh, those of you that give cash and want to be able to use it for tax purposes in the f following year or whatever the case may be, please fill these out. Make sure they get into the, the basket. And uh, I keep track of all of it. And I do have the stuff for 2017 ready for those of you that have done that and then written checks because I take the checks and, and do the same thing with the checks. Um, Janice and Phil I think still need to sign them. Yeah. <laughs> but a big uh, stack. They're, they're ready to go and uh, if you can wait until next week then you can get them here at church and those of you that don't pick them up at church I'll make sure they get in the mail so that you can use them for your taxes. So just want to let you know that we're doing really well and uh, but we can't do it without you guys so anything you can give is wonderful and uh, what you can't give just give a blessing to the the basket as it goes around and will be plentiful and yeah. with Expo coming up Expo is always our big big deal and we do make quite a bit of money which allows us to take care of the big items that need to be done in the church and I think this year we may be doing the whole HVAC system from possibly I don't know you know so that that's gonna take a lot a lot of bucks so 
help out where you can with Expo and please attend Expo and uh, it's always fun. Tell everybody. Tell everybody you know because right. it's fun. There's a lot of good things that are there. A lot of vendors that have some nice uh, you know, like crystals and rocks, and uh, there's a lot of readings and healings and, and all that stuff. And, and we usually make approximately $4,000 uh, to $5,000 just for the church itself for putting it on. So please attend. If so. you volunteer, uh, we waive your admission fee. So, so volunteer. But we'll take it if you still want to give it. Yes. We don't deny money. No, never. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy. And what a blessing she has been. She doesn't like to hear that, but she gets to. Uh, someone is grateful for Valentine's. We had a lovely Valentine's Day. Uh, thank you, wonderful supportive prayers, love and light, for myself, Athena, and my beloved kitty cat. Onyx. So you're welcome with that. Mr. Phil. Oh, before we close up, anybody have any questions or comments about your guided meditation? Yes, ma'am. Did you like the tree? Yes, I did. Huh? I said it was like the Keebler elves. Like the Keebler elves. So funny. I would never have thought of that, but how very elf of you. They make my... Yes. <laughs> um... So I received a giant feather, which I thought was like a turkey feather, but I think it was, I think it was an eagle feather. Um, and then I gave back amber. Right. All right. Eagle feather would represent that great spirit is here with you in everything that you do. They got shivers on that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the amber, amber is wonderful. It was a something and then it's something else. Mm -hmm. So it was sap and now it's a beautiful stone. So this is saying that you are moving through transition and you're becoming something really, really spectacular. Yay! Love that. How fun is that? Thank you. You're welcome. Does that ring true for you? You have yes. to check in your own ring true to make sure mm -hmm. that it's right for you. Yeah. Heart space. Makes a lot of sense. Anybody else? Questions? Comments? Other side of the room? Um, I was like, oh, you're in the speak. Can you move over? Because the speaker's gonna have feedback. Sorry, mm -hmm. I can't. Sorry about that. Um, I was like up in Canada, but then I went to the redwoods, and then I. It's was, your guided meditation. It could be anything. You I know. couldn't decide, and then all of a sudden, a name there you went. You can be what, and it could have been Canadian redwoods in your mind. All right. Ah. There you go. Doesn't have to be a certain way. And then when I was in the tree with the light and that, it was, I smelt cedar. Oh, nice. Cedar's very sacred. Did you know that? Secret, cedar, cedar is a sacred uh, tree. And then I picked up the gem, what, citron? The citrine? Yellow? Citrine. That's okay. abundance. And then outside the tree was a big, like, amethyst, one of those things that are cut in half. The oh, okay. An amethyst geode? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I left the citron, citrine, citrine, behind. Okay, so the um, receiving the citrine—that's about abundance. So, so you've received the awareness that you have abundance in your life. The amethyst uh, geode is letting you know about this purple, or the amethyst is this divine connection, and it's huge. So you have this huge divine connection, and you left this. Uh, the citrine there. This is acknowledging that you have gifts to share and that you will share them willingly. How beautiful is that? Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Behind you. Oh, in front of you and then we'll be back. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. Um, I understand it all except what I was given was this ginormous acorn. That's the only thing <clears throat> I'm not... I'm okay. Not so from a tiny acorn, a giant tree can grow. So guess what you can do with a big honking acorn? <laughs> with a big honking tree. Exactly. So you asked where you got it to tell you what the big things are coming. Okay. How cool is that? <coughs> oh. Um, you should be fine. You should okay. be fine. I, I 
received from inside the tree a heart-shaped thing that said, you are love D. And I'm like, I'm a grammar Nazi, so that upset me a little bit. <laughs> but then I was like, okay, no, it's no, you are love, and you are loved, and my name is Dawn, so it's like, you are loved, D. And then when I exited the tree, that came with me and just, and what I gave back, and again, I never know what's going to go on in my mind, but I gave back an act. Oh, an axe. Uh, a, a wooden handled axe in the tree. I, I laid it there on the gnarly roots of the tree. The tree absorbed it, welcomed it back, and turned the sharp edge into a very soft, pliant heart shape. From the oh. from the from the steel, it just it was like how well, beautiful. Okay, so you are love, and you are loved. <coughs> That's self evident. The the axe is like sometimes we feel like we have to make things happen. Yeah. So this is giving you permission to allow your love to manifest whatever. Your love can change anything. Does that make sense? Love it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Powerful you. stuff. Big powerful stuff. And up here, anybody else? Thank you, sir. Who was it needed? Oh, okay. So basically, I received the golden acorn. Another like she acorn. said, yes, golden, the size of my hand. And I left the blue tiger eye pendulum that I have. Oh, cool. Okay. So again, the acorn is big things are coming. Stay tuned for that. Um, and the pendulum was a blue tiger eye? Yes. Okay, tiger eye. This is beautiful. Um, Tiger Eye is about leadership. Uh, I read something the other day. I didn't plan on being a leader. I just said yes a lot. The next thing I knew, I was leading. Uh, and you do that. You say yes a lot. Uh, so this is, is leadership. And the fact that it was a pendulum, yeah. this is being divinely guided. Yes. So you'll be a divinely guided leader. How cool is that? Uh. And you got this golden acorn, which is about value. You know what's right. You know what's... You know your own value, you can help others see their value as well. So big stuff with that. Cool. One more? One more. Why not? Why not, I say? <coughs> so when I stepped into my tree, it was a large redwood, and it was glowing this really warm, soft gold color. Um, I was given a coin, a large gold coin. There was nothing on it. It was just a large gold coin. When I stepped out, I actually gave a gold acorn. Interesting, interesting. So you received a gold coin. Yeah. Okay, so this is recognition of your own worth, okay. self-worth. Often when coins are, are gifted to us, that reminds us of our own value. And, to, and you gave a gold acorn? I, I gave it back, yeah. That feels really different than receiving. So let me see what the... What the imprint of that is. Okay, so it feels like this is about um, you check your inner ring true, but this is what I'm getting, is that this is about going back to the seed concepts and being able to see what works, see what doesn't work. See what's true, see what isn't true. And from that um, that's where your growth is coming from. And that's how you help others grow as well. But it's these little seeds of truth right. that are powerful and extremely important. So it's looking it back at that and, and being willing to nurture that again. Does that Thank make you. sense? Per yeah, it does. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Phil, you have 